Hi, welcome to Robin's Realm Readings. This is Robin. I have a message for you. I wanted to find out. They asked, they told me because of this, this energy that we're in, the Lionsgate energy. It's not, um, we're fully in it. We're actually in the middle of it. They wanted me to look at you, uh, those of you who have stepped into your power and um, are disciplining yourself, loving yourself, making your own journey, looking at things square in the eye, dealing with them, letting them go, calling on God, getting your business right, getting your, getting your karma right, um, protecting your own energy, protecting this reading, calling on Archangel Michael to uh, ascend and to um, come in, descend down into this space and be with us. During this reading, I will not have tolerate any interference. The message that I have for you is that you guys are stars. You have, you've been on this healing path for some time. You're quite amazing, actually. You utilize this Aquarius energy to clear paths, to nourish yourself, to learn what your calling is, and to become very powerful. You're very beautiful people, okay? So that's the message for you. You're stars, and you're star seeds, and you're stars in the eyes of the divine, and you're absolutely beautiful. I want to see. You're not going to believe what I'm going to read. Okay, we're going to take a look at your your person that left. The one that left you. You know it's because you were unevenly yoked, right? It isn't because there was something wrong with you or they were selfish. It was. It happens where spirit separates people. And you're like, well, okie doke. Let's just go with it. We're going to go with it. Holy Spirit, thank you for being with us. We're calling upon the higher vibrational beings that are benevolent, are watching us, are caring for us, ancestors, guides, Holy Spirit. We call upon the elements of air, fire, water, earth, ether, and the energies that will be coming forward for you to bless you. And these things we ask and thank you for your presence on this channel. And so be it, so be it, so be it. We're going to look and see. I'm using my sacred holy oil to spray myself before I read for you. If you haven't tried this, you are missing something wonderful. I also have attract love and clear negative energy. I have clear negative energy kits for your body, for your house. Um, I have attract love kits for you, for gifts. Yep. Oh, wait a minute. I saw a card facing up right. I got to get it out of there. Where'd it go? I just saw it. Look what card was facing up right in the deck. Conflict, emotional conflict, other people's energy, people's opinions. You know, that showed up. I'm going to shuffle it back in and rebuke that in the name of Jesus and keep going. My loves, how are you? I brought out Carmen cards. We're going to take a look at what happened to them after they left you. All right. Just, I don't know where that came from. Must be um, the divine. Must be God. Yeah. Here we go. Let's see, guys. We're going to pull out a story real quick. One more. Yeah, this is my brand new phone. Sure took me through a lot getting it. I've been through a lot. Sorry about the delay. Okay. The bottom of the deck is a Ten of Cups. Now, I don't know if that's... They actually found their happiness with or without you. Or you're the goal and they might come back to you. We'll just have to look. Okay? We'll just look. I'll leave it right there. Angelics. Thank you for your presence. Okay, here it goes. Anything in reversal, I will pull cards on to clarify. How? Spirit, what happened to this person after they left our collective? Clarify the wheel up in reverse. Clarify the wheel in reverse. I mean the king of wands in reverse. Oh, that makes sense. All right, clarify the knight of swords in reverse. And I'll tell you all these cards, the elements, the features, and all of this makes sense. 
Looks like they had a bad, they're in a bad place, right? Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh, you guys. Wow. Keep going. Let me see why we have the tower. Oh, wow. You guys have no idea. You have no idea the torture somebody has been through. We're going to talk about it, though. Wow. <laughs> yeah. All right. One more, please. Okay. And I'll clarify these. First of all, I'm going to tell you something. A lot of those people that left you because you were the divine person for them. Now, these are not gender specific. They are uh, their energy. They're about a relationship. They're about energies involved in your relationship. And um, we have, many of us have separated from someone that we cared for. We really gave them everything we, th we thought we could at the time. And we, we, our standards have changed because our goals have changed. Right? All right. Mm. So here we have judgment. So right after they left you, they made a judgment. And uh, they were called into judgment too because it was a life change, right? And that changes everything. That changes your destiny, changes the way that the universe sees you, the direction you're going, who you're involved with, energies you're involved with. So this person immediately fell under they thought they were being revived, but they weren't. They were under judgment by the divine and your guides and theirs, okay? So this is what they did. They turned their fortune upside down. You were their fortune, but they didn't want to do what it took to keep you. So they turned their fortune upside down and immediately went into sexual power. They utilize physical sexual energy to do whatever it was they were doing, overpowering you or just going for a booty calls or something, something insecure. When the king of wands, Aries Leo Sagittarius, is in reverse, that passion is totally misplaced. So that's part of the reason why they got this really um, negative karma, because that's karma. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse they might have gone to a Queen of Swords or, or um, turned you into the Queen of Swords, setting boundaries, speaking truth, um, tolerating no shit whatsoever, and seeking divine light, communicating. They were communicating, but they weren't telling the truth, and they weren't. They weren't telling you, and they weren't telling the truth. Um, this per, this is Gemini Libra Aquarius. This is coming forward real fast with a message for you, right? But in reverse, they didn't tell anybody. They didn't talk about it. It could be a Gemini, a, a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. They went for that person. They didn't tell anybody. She was very kind and compassionate and merciful, but she wasn't about to go anywhere with them. Not really. The full card in reverse is a new start. This person didn't, it was like a false start. Yeah, Queen of Coins went in reverse on this. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, someone, they turned, they turned away from you and they went towards a, they were communicating with someone else, but it wasn't their destiny. So they're, now they're in trouble. So now they're single. And they're trying to get their money back up and trying to get their dignity back up and getting connected with God, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But the love is still here. The universe is still looking at this person. This new love did not start. How do I know? Because they were in their head. It was, it was like false light 
a false direction for this person? Yes, we're calling it down on them. The spirit is calling judgment on somebody. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Having the answer but not seeking it. Being up in your head and being stuck. Not knowing and it burdened them. The fact that you pulled back burdened them. Put a lot of weight on their shoulders because of the way they did this to you. It was the way they did it. They, they were seeing somebody behind your back before they even left. Most of you. Period, point blank. I can't lie to you about that because that's exactly what Spirit's saying. Mm -hmm. So what happens? Some of them married this person, but this person was a cheater. They were not stable. They had a celebration or they celebrated with them. This person was not faithful to them. They... They weighed everything out in the balance, tried to keep everything in check, but it was impossible. Impossible because there was no future with this person. There was, this is God's gift. This is God's gift. I'm giving you finances, home, a new relationship, power, money, and security, and divine um, blessings. But it came in reverse. So they lost out on that. They also, um, this person took them for everything they had. They lost energy. This is the Page of Wands. Aries Leo Sagittarius comes with good news. He comes with new energy. He comes with a new a new project, a new something. But he can't. But he's in reverse. And I asked again, why? Because they weren't telling the truth. They weren't seeing the truth. They weren't talking to God. They weren't doing what was right. Um, they weren't communicating properly. Ace of Swords in reverse. They say that's true, and they lost their wish fulfillment, which was you. Over a third party. Mm-hmm. Yep. And you jumped into your, your um, you knew, you knew, but you didn't, you know, you handled it a different way because you've already dealt with, you're the star and the high priestess. So you already knew their crap. You knew what they were doing. Correct? Um, you were weighing things out in the balance and then you kept your sacredness hidden, your true secrets hidden while you dealt with your intuition All right. Now, this is what happened because of what they did. This is the long-term effect of what they did. <clears throat> this tower came. It's a reality check. It's a physical something happening, um, suddenly happening. Could be Scorpio. Brought it right down. You don't even have a good foundation. How are you going to build on this? The moon is in reverse, which means that um, that's like... Um, after the crash, like after the crash happened, they couldn't even see. This is also referencing someone who was doing moon magic. Could be a Scorpio. Was doing moon magic on this person. Mm -hmm. And um, it was like death. It was like suddenly they realized something didn't work out. It didn't happen. And now they are in the, in the death stage. Um, and it's caused them to be severely anxious because of the decision they made and they can't communicate with you and they're not. Um, this is a nine of swords, fear, apprehension, loneliness, worries, mental grief, and being blocked spiritually and communication. They were blocked. So why were they blocked? Because they were hurt it hit them, what they did to you came right back to them. Pain, heartbreak from an empress. Maybe it's you. Maybe they're realizing who you were. The creator, the creator, the, the, the star. They don't want to leave now. They're still watching. They couldn't leave. Maybe they couldn't leave this, this other person either. <clears throat> This is the Four of Cups. This is unrequited love. I couldn't give it to you. I couldn't take it. Guess who, guess who shows up? The witch. The troublemaker. Now this represents Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I mean, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but that's not what I'm seeing. What I'm seeing is an individual who had passion and who had power, who had um, goals, but, and gifts. However, 
She didn't use them the right way. This is some sneaky energy they put up with manipulation. And it put them in their head. This is what happened to them after they left you. Some of them got them in their head. They're like, I can't even talk to this person. We're not really suited. I tried to marry them. And then I found out. I tried to juggle them and you. And I found out that uh, they were not faithful. I was not faithful. And it came right back. Don't tell me God ain't seeing this stuff. Because he really, really is. Mm-hmm. And that's... That's what's happening here. I need clarification on this Ten of Cups. Who is the Ten of Cups for? Give me a moment after I do this. I'm going to take one more quick look at this reading. See if there's another angle to this I'm not seeing. Guess what? Fact. It's a fact. It's a fact. It's a fact. False love. Addictive love. Addicted to... Happiness, but with the wrong person. This is Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What we have here is somebody gonna have to face it. You're addicted to love. So there was an addiction, addiction that was uh, the Ten of Cups. They thought they would have everything. Happy family, happy life forever with this person. They had no idea this person was dark. No, that's right. The sun is in reverse. They had no idea that some person was dark, just like them. When they did this, they fell into temptation. Yep, that person had three third parties and probably drank a lot. Yep, could be a Leo. It took, it, it, it's, they don't have much strength left. What are they gonna do now? Well, they're in this place again. Remember, this came out. So they're in this place where they're like battling to get out of the mess. Everybody's got an opinion. They could be talking, talking shit. Um, they're thinking about you and coming back, remorseful, feeling, dreaming, hearing music, remembering the past. Are they going to come back to you? Huh. If they did come back, they'd be full of shit. They're not ready yet. They've got to process this anxiety and fear. They've got to take responsibility before God for the decision they made. I call it God because it's their divine. Seven. So someone is still not right. And that's Gemini Libra Aquarius. More about coming back to the collective. They're not telling the truth. This is, this is faith and hope. This is marriage. They're going to lie to you about the marriage that they did. You're not going to take it. Probably won't even receive them, Libra. This is balance and equality. They want balance, but I need you to know it came out in reverse. They're imbalanced. But they're still waiting for something to happen. They're still looking at you. They're still going, well, I put a lot of in stuff into this, and I'm hoping that it bears good fruit. But it won't because it took away all their, their really important options. This is options and choices in love. And it's in reverse. What happened was it took away their, their options for a happy life with a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Someone who's holding themselves down. Holding their heart. Loving God. Taking right. Taking care of other people. Being a really good person. Setting up their dowry. Working their business. Um, emotionally stable. And extraordinarily kind. You. All right? Let's see. Let's take a look at the... Um, we're going to... Let me get my book out. Hold on a minute. Mm. By the way, this is the first recording I made on this phone. I don't know how long it'll record for. Um, I don't. Let's take a look at the sa sacred rebel. Tell me about this person. And I have my karma cards out here. Show me spirit about this person's mindset now. Where's their mindset now? Whether they're stuck in this relationship and this person's doing magic to keep them there. They're really unhappy. They think about you. They feel like they lost their choices. They've been dealing with the devil. Aha. 
they've been treating with the devil. That's what I mean. They went for the they went for the what the eyes wanted to see, the lust, the lust, the greed, the desires. The the it was false. What are they dealing with? They're trying to come back and bring something back into form. After all the rain, after all the tears, 41, their heart wants a new start. And this says the word wants to be written, 41 and 42. So your ages may be 41 and 42. Um, they need to come clean and get this new start. This butterflies represent freedom. Freedom of the mind, freedom of the spirit, the soul needs freeing. And they need to write what it is they want. They need to seek the face of divine and ask forgiveness. And you need to trust yourself because you're already on this path. Look at you. You're connected to Gaia. You're communicating your truth. And you are um, trusting yourself. Of course you are. Of course you are. All right, I'm not going to go into the big old long details about what that is. Um, I want to see, I'm going to use my Gilded Reverie, Lenormand's, to take a look at what we can expect in the future. What can you expect from this person in, the, in this landscape portal? Well, I can tell you this. Um, this person is lusting. They're lusting. The longing, the thinking, they're 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 in a this is a feminine energy. She's thinking about what she gave up. She's thinking about how how she would compromise or would she compromise? She didn't get paradise. She won't get paradise. And they're gossiping and they're talking about it and they're waiting around in hangman, hanging around with friends. They might be talking to the Lord. They might be finally coming through, and guess what? They know who you are now. Is it too late? You were their soulmate, some of them, and they weren't on your level. And they had to go through this experience to get there. Now they see who you are. They're talking about it with people. They miss you. They wish this had never happened, the death card. They know that it requires transformation. And, ooh, look at that. They're not stable right now. The anchor came out in reverse, which means that they're not stable at this time. You should not consider it. Remember the seven swords and the anchor. So they're being addressed by the ancestors and guides to actually follow their true north and get right with the divine. And because they're not healed. They're not healed right now. They don't have, they're waiting for you. You're 31. Where did I see the 31 at? Right here? 42. Where is the 30? I just had it. Here, you. You're 31, right? Communication, commitment, contracts, talking to God, talking to nature, and a brand new start. This is 31. But theirs came out in reverse. Big sign, don't you think? Show me your sign. So, uh, they still got a lot of work to do to be able to be near you. The divine's working on them. Yeah, they took a chance and it went all to hell with bad magic after they married the wrong person. Now they're thinking about coming towards you. They're being guided by the divine. They're being guided to look at their motivations for doing so. They don't have shit to offer you. This is inheritances and gifts. And they've got to go to court and take care of some business. They were they were dealing with somebody who was two-faced. And they didn't tell the truth to themselves or to someone else. Now it's chilly as hell and they can't get uh, started right. They're being forced to go back. They're being forced to go to the tree of life. They're being forced to Get their business right because you've got your back turned on them. You are indeed the divine feminine. And I say that you could be male or female. You close this chapter, done. They'll never be able to find you if you don't want them to. And they're still in this shit. Aha. I remember you. 
I'm going to come back and try to schmooze you, but first I'll, I'll use sex. Yeah, that's a big mistake, isn't it? Big mistake. Let's see. What are you most likely to do? Stand in your power. Stand in your power. Doing everything you do has to be for love. You know it's true. Everything I do, I do it for you. They're not going to get the victory. You you won't you don't want this. You know you already know. Even if they are divine masculine, they, they still have to come and really step up. They're not going to get victory if they come towards you. And you are right here, talking to God, holding it down. You're when you, anybody talks to you, it's going to be clear cut facts. I'm not even going to throw my emotion into this. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and you are sitting in your, your own inheritance, your own victory, your own stability. You're working with your family. You're working on saving and making your business grow. And you're going to have options of lovers. And don't you forget it. They know it too. They made a mistake. Okay. Yep. You're not going at it for sex. You're not at all. That's what they did. Sex and power. You're keeping your power under control. Yeah. Yeah. You're not going to let them have anything. You're done. I think you're done. They're going to have to just learn that lesson. The Knight of Pentacles is coming slowly with a solid offer, right? Okay. Let's take a look at what these karma cards say here. Karma cards. What is the message for these karma cards for this person that laughed that you loved so, so much? You just gave them everything. Everything you could. Now, you might have been... You might have not, you know, you could have taken them for granted. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Let's see what happens. But you straightened up. I think you caught, you know, a lot of us did that. We found ourselves compromising because we loved them, but they didn't appreciate our love. So what happened was um, they think something better came along. They grabbed it. They said, oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm going to marry this beautiful beautiful person and I'm going to commit to them. Little do they know they were the effing devil. Hello? A witch in disguise. Most of them. A lot of them. They married a witch in disguise. Okay. That's planets. Let's take a look at the signs for this reading. Please, Spirit, Holy Spirit. If I haven't told you today, I love you. If you haven't heard that at all, I'm going to say it now. I love you. Here it goes. Okay, it's going to be an unusual message. I don't know how it relates. I will tell you the houses, and you tell me. Take it or leave it. It's up to you. <clears throat> okay. We have Capricorn predominant. This is very interesting. Neptune and Capricorn in the third house. Third house is all over this reading. Inspire others with dedication to achieve your ideas. Spiritual. Mental. Be prepared to sacrifice for focusing on short-term thinking and trips. And physical. Yielding is the only way resulting from the rules imposed by who or what is around you. Yielding. So yielding is like, stop, you know, right? And I don't know how that's, how that actually relates. But let me get an Ascended Master Guide for you. And I'm going to pull out an Isis Oracle so that you, you know what's going on inside. What is the spiritual message for my guides? My, my collective here that's watching this. I'm setting this as a premiere as to what happened to them after they left you. 
And I really appreciate all your love. I appreciate your gifts. I appreciate your presence. I appreciate you watching my channel. I appreciate you hitting the like button. I appreciate you subscribing and hitting the all bell. I appreciate you joining me on patreon.com to support my work. I appreciate you going to my Etsy shop and buying spiritual, spiritual healing products, sprays, baths, sage, crystals. Yeah, here goes, spirit. So you're in the process of balancing your life and career. You're, you're, you're getting balanced. That's why you got the Ten of Pentacles. What about this person? Mother, daughter, mother, daughter, mother, wife, sister, daughter, Lady Nada. Um, Nada, in my, in my understanding, Nada means none. <laughs> none. So someone's not giving them none. I'm sorry, whoever you are. You made a mistake. We all make mistakes. They have finding you guys are having to find the blessing in your current situation, Krishna, which is really good energy for you because that shows that you are balancing yourself. Um, more about this person. Energy healing. They desperately need energy healing. Merlin is here in reverse. Yep, they were dealing with a witch. They didn't even know it. They're sick. They're sick from what happened. That's why you have the Ten of Wands and the Death card. Um, they want to make a peace offering to you. But it won't bring positive change because they're not ready. So you're being asked to focus upon your own strengths. The focus, you know, what the Bible says, where your heart is is where your treasure will be. This person needs to open their heart to Christ. They need to get a heart like that. They need to rede get redemption for what they did. And Ganesha says, yeah, that's true. Yes. Ganesha brings abundance, but also Christ, because Christ gives spiritual healing. Again, we're back at trust, Vishnu. So you already, you knew to trust, but this person needs to learn the lesson of trust and get their priorities right. Um, King Solomon, this is like uh, the Merkaba. This is like the ultimate um, clearing of the violet flame. Having the priorities right. You need to drink more water. Flushing your body out. Getting your body um, significant. And whatever you are working on, they say, get busy on it. Don't let anything hold you back. Go now. Okay, one more, please. Retreat into nature and drink more water, guys. All of us could do that. Isis says to you, from the core of your being, I'm sorry if I bang my camera with these cards on the table. I'm still learning how to manage all these equipment. I keep shifting around. Here we go. Please, what is, Guy, what is Isis' message to my divine collective here? Wings of Isis. You have a special spiritual relationship with the angelic worlds. Part of your... Sole purpose is to birth angelic consciousness and values such as fearlessness, compassion, and service into this human culture. This oracle also brings your angelic assistance, intervention, and confirmation too. Wow. Obviously, look at you. If this is you, that would be true. Evolution of consciousness on the planet. You, you don't have time for lower vibrational relationships. You are not putting up with that. They're, you're ending that shit. The end. Closed the door and locked it. You put up barriers. You've held back your energy and you're trusting yourself. Wonderful reading. I love you so much. By all means, please try out my fabulous sprays. Uh, this is clear black magic, clear uh, negative energy, sacred holy mist. Everything's natural and pure, and I spray it on my furniture. Hey, so that's your reading. Thank you so much. I love you. Namaste.